Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jorge. So today I'm very excited. We're doing one of my favorite things and that is going thrift shopping for home decor that looks expensive. So we're gonna take you shopping with me, share with you a couple of things that you should look out for, things that you shouldn't buy. Then we'll come back and I'll give you a short haul. So let's go ahead and hit the road. The first area that I head to is the furniture section, not only because it's the most exciting to me, but also because these pieces sell fast. So I want to make sure I get first dibs on anything that I might find. Today was not really a good day for furniture. As you can see, this cabinet is very outdated and I don't really see the potential in this. For a large space, I feel like this desk could be very useful. I do think it needs to be refinished though because this yellow tone is not really it. I really am digging the poles though. The dinnerware or just the kitchen area in general tends to have a couple hidden gems including this water dispenser or beverage dispenser. I really like the shape of it. It seemed to be in great condition. It was missing a lid though but honestly if you just turn this around it could just serve as a vase. Now I'm not into the silver that much, but a couple of items here and there, such as this candle holder, will catch my attention. I really find it fascinating how this can have some cool tones, but also a lot of warm tones. Very interesting. The silhouette of it is also quite nice. The area with a whole bunch of metal objects can be kind of tricky. Sometimes they have good items and sometimes they don't. This is an example of a good item. Um, this candle holder can be placed on a wall that you don't really know what to do with. This is something I would avoid. It looks a little bit outdated and a little bit tacky to be honest. If you ever find items you like but are not in love with the color, don't worry. You can always use spray paint to give a new look. I like these vases and could definitely use a new coat of spray paint, maybe black or white. Oftentimes, simplicity is the answer, and this bowl right here is a good example. Not only is it simple, but it's also quite elegant. Also, maybe we can stay away from the unicorns. My local Goodwill stores like to organize things by color, and oftentimes in the yellow section, I'll find brass candle holders such as these. Now, I didn't buy these ones, but this is something that can easily be spray painted for a different look. Very chic. You can also use items for a different purpose. For example, this water pitcher could be easily be turned into a vase and hold some fresh flowers or maybe even some dry sticks or something like that. Very beautiful. I don't know if I like the color though. The design of this bowl was quite nifty. Comment down below if you had to get this, what would you put inside of it? Would you put fruit or what would you put inside? Now I call this the Tupperware section and even though this isn't really decor, occasionally I'll find a random item that is not only amazing but like gold. This right here is a bowl almost mid-century or honestly just modern vibes this is something i would probably see at crate and barrel maybe cb2 even though i don't really like the red tone that could easily be restained or painted i'm going to stay away from the doll section because they give me the creeps but candles like this could easily be melted down if you saw my previous dollar tree video i melted some of these down into a bowl and made a large candle that looked very expensive I've been looking for a teapot for a while now and this one is a great contender. It was cast iron and very heavy. The issue is that when I'm filming I sometimes forget to actually put them in the cart and this is one thing that I actually left behind. My bad. So now we're looking at footage of a new thrift store that they actually just opened up this week and I could not be more excited. They were very well stocked with everything including the wooden section where I found these bowls. I think this one right here is Myrtle Wood and I could not be more excited. My wallet probably was not happy but I definitely rejoiced. This tea set was a bargain. 
I think it was $7 for the entire set, plus it came with the serving tray. Now this was not my style, so I did not take it home with me, but for anyone who likes this, I think this is great. The wall art and frame section will occasionally offer nice vintage art pieces. This is a great example. I could definitely see this in a gallery wall, especially in a very nice transitional home. This particular thrift store did not have the best selection of furniture and the few pieces that I actually liked were either sold or very expensive for a thrift store price. I love this console table, but guess what? It was sold. Ugh, crying face emoji. Mirrors from thrift stores are fantastic because they're affordable and you can easily upcycle them. You can paint them, restain them, maybe apply some rubber buff. I actually have a video on this. This dresser was probably its corresponding mate and I absolutely was in love with this, but guess what? It was sold, so I'm gonna go ahead and insert a couple of crying emojis. And last but not least, this cabinet caught my attention and then I soon found out it was an old record player cabinet. How cool would it be to upcycle something like this? Maybe transform it into something new, maybe a sink. I don't know, maybe that would be weird. But anyways, let's head on home so I can show you the couple of cool things that I found today. Okay, so I picked up a couple of goodies that I want to share with you, hopefully give you some ideas of thrift things that maybe you should look for when you're thrift shopping. Now, I don't want you to think that I went out and got this all in one thrift drum. Sometimes it's a hit or a miss, and it takes a couple of tries, a, a couple of thrift stores, um, but this is what I accumulated, and let me just share with you. All right, the first thing I want to share with you is this very large glass apothecary jar. I feel like it's pretty common, not really my style, um, honestly, this was an impulse purchase. It was $4.50. That's what got me because something like this is at least $40 or $50. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. Maybe I'll put a whole bunch of M&Ms or I don't even know what I'm going to use this for if I'll use this. Um, let me know what you think I should put in this jar, but I think it was a steal for $4.50. Now the next item is this really delicious vase. Look at that beautiful detail. I'll put some b-roll of this um, it's a nice form it's a beautiful color maybe I could use this to style a bookshelf or a console I don't necessarily have to put anything in this I think this is a statement in itself but maybe a branch a branch usually makes everything look good like this right here seriously go out get a branch from your tree put it in a vase instantly makes everything feel and look expensive in my opinion I love this. It wouldn't be a thrift haul without candle holders and these ceramic candle holders are exquisite. They are in this like creamy color, ceramic. What's awesome is that they came in a pair. Oftentimes when I see things like this, there's always just one, um, which means the other one probably got broken or lost or something. And when you find two of these, you just have to grab them. And I'll probably put some candlesticks on them. A lot of times with the candle holders that I use, I'm always rotating things around. Um, and so yeah, definitely this is something that I love and maybe you should pick up as well if you see something like that. While we're on the subject of candle holders, you know, I have a problem with brass candlesticks. And these, I got more. Honestly, if I see these, I will probably grab them. Um, so you better believe that I grabbed these. Some of these, um, well, actually all of these are actually a little bit different. They're all from different areas, but it's really cool picking these up every single time. I'm always curious to see what the previous owner was like, what kind of design they were into. Each one has like a story and the patina always gets me so beautiful. Get these every time you see them, if that's your style. Next up, I found this set of four wooden bowls. Now these are a little bit on the smaller, medium size. I think there are just, you can't go wrong with these because bowls are pretty much timeless. They're very practical. 
these could probably be used for maybe serving snacks or just leaving them for decor. If you see bowls and maybe they're not in the wood tone that you like, you can always sand them down, refinish them. If you're looking for something rustic, sand them down, beat them up, make them look distressed. So many things you could do with bowls. I think I might have a problem with bowls too. I have way too many. Maybe I need to open an online shop or something, but I couldn't pass up on these and yeah, I'm excited to use these. The next item that I got was this side table right here. Now don't think that it came in this beautiful finish. It was actually like a yellowy pine and I got it for a couple of reasons. The first reason is that it was solid pine. I think it's actually pine, um, but regardless it's solid wood, which is always great for furniture. Um, the second thing is it was five bucks. Five bucks for a side table that is solid wood, I think is a pretty great deal. And third, I really wanted to test out a stain on it um, for a couple of future DIYs. And I was testing out a dark ebony finish, which I basically applied this to the table. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, I showed that whole process through a reel. It's actually pretty easy. Um, and I think it turned out great. Comment down below, let me know if you think it looks much better than that yellowy pine. Now, I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna keep it or not. Although it is nice, I don't know if it's gonna work for the living room design that I'm going for. By the way, keep an eye on that video. It'll come out hopefully soon, we'll see. Um, but regardless, I'm very happy with it. Last but not least, I've been in the market for a teapot for a while now, and I found this teapot right here, and it's in this like terracotta color, has this nice detail towards the top, um, carving and the handle is nice. It's actually in really great condition. Um, it might actually work. I'm not sure if I'll actually use this. Um, maybe I'll just keep it for decor purposes. Let me know, is this something that you would buy? I think it's nice. I will probably put this like on a shelf or something. Not really sure, um, but I like it. All right, so that was today's video. Comment down below. Let me know which one was your favorite item. I don't have a favorite item this time. I think they're all delicious. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Also, if you haven't checked out my other thrifting videos, I will put a playlist and video right here for you to play. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.